RepublicTimes.net is bringing you two new products this spring. While you are browsing the daily scores and your favorite team's sports page, be sure to check out our new RT Savers coupon page. For this month only, we are giving you a buy two, get one free coupon. Use it on the winter sports photos. Also new to the RT is the RT Classifieds Marketplace. Think Craigslist, but safer, more convenient, and right here in your hometown. Try it today for free. It's free to browse and buy, whether you're cleaning out your garage, selling goods out of your home or business, or an antiques enthusiast. The RT Classifieds Marketplace is just for you. We did lose seven seniors. Um, Matt Reinholz was one of the leaders for us offensively last year. He's playing in Greenville now. And, and what might be more important for us right now is we lost four of our top pitchers off the mound between Schmidt, Reinholz, um, Griffin, and, and Kennedy. They all gave us very valuable innings and, and contributed to a lot of our wins last year. Jabot charted a total of 23 wins with that pitching staff, but is returning promising pitcher junior Zach Neff, who had a 4-3 and three record on the mound as a sophomore. We got Zach Neff had a very successful, or pretty successful year last year as a sophomore. He got the win in the regional championship game and uh, ended a year, year with a ERA under two. Um, we got some other guys that have some innings of experience on the mound between Matt Schrader, Augie Ward, um, Adam Breesocker will, will throw some games. We got some other guys, younger guys, that'll have a chance to, to fill in those innings that uh, we didn't count on last year. I have to say, the number one pitcher to watch out for is probably Zach Neff, the junior left-handed pitcher. Um, he's he's got his stuff pretty down pat. Uh, he'll be our number one this year. I think the sleeper pitcher to walk, watch for is going to be uh, Chase Dugan. I think he can come out and throw a lot of good innings for us. I've caught a few bullpens this year, and he he looks pretty good. So I think he's our sleeper pitcher. Our pitching staff should keep us in games. We should throw strikes um, and just work the ball and let our offense help us out, um, not try to be too fine and just attack hitters. We got some guys coming back. Mitch Meyer was our center fielder last year. He's back. Schrader's back and right. Uh, Wes will be back uh, whenever he comes back from his injury that he suffered during basketball season. He'll, he was our shortstop last year, so he'll be out there a lot. Um, will Shepard behind the plate. Um, he caught a lot of innings for us last year and plan on him doing the same this year. And then and we got a, what's nice, but other than that, we have a lot of competition at a lot of other uh, positions and, and guys that are going to be f pushing each other for playing time and, and hopefully the, the competition put, brings out the best in all the guys. Last year was starting catcher for a good portion of the year. Uh, through experienced regionals with the team, the first set game of sectionals. And uh, it's been a good experience. Just uh, being behind the plate, being on the field with the guys. Our team strengths are definitely offense, offensively, and uh, I think we'll be pretty strong defensively as well. Um, we got a core group of seniors, uh, followed by a lot of talented juniors. Another one of the Hawks' strengths is its core of 13 juniors. The junior class at Jabot right now on the boys' side is very deep uh, athletically in all three sports. and. We are going to definitely be reaping the benefits of that uh, this spring. I think our junior class is really deep. Um, we have, I think, 13 on the roster, and all of them have talent and potential to play. So that should really help our chances of winning this year. Jabot says its offense will help give the team its W's this season, with five players returning who hit over 250 in 2012. I think our, our lineup, even though we lost guys like Ryan Holtz and, and Taylor Halloran and, and some of those other seniors, I think our lineup is, has a chance to be deeper this year than what we had in the past couple years. And, and I think one through nine, we should be able to put productive bats in the lineup. The lineup should be pretty strong one through nine. Uh, there's a lot of guys pushing for playing time, a lot of good athletes and ball players on the team. Uh, it's going to be good competition. Uh, I think that there's a few guys that are going to be in the lineup probably every day from what the coaches have been saying and just from the last couple years. Um, but there's a lot of guys that there's positions open. You know, there's a lot of playing time to be fought for. And there shouldn't be a weak spot in our lineup. And there, we should have a pretty good defense as well. The addition of Coach Berhager, he's really defensive-minded, and he's helped out a lot with the defense the last couple of years. The Hawks have their eyes set on winning the Monroe County Tournament and the Catholic Schools Tourney in Bloomington, along with avenging their sectional semifinal loss last year. Goals are, don't really change a whole lot for us from year to year. We want to be, we want to get better as the year progresses. Uh, we want to be playing our best baseball in May, and and if we get the Get hot at the right time. Hopefully, we can go on a deep postseason run. 
Uh, this year, uh, I think the team's got a lot of offensive ability. We lost some pitching, but we got some good arms that could become pitchers over the years. Um, I look for a lot of aggressiveness, a lot of hustle. Team's got a lot of heart this year again. We saw where we went last year, and we obviously want to go farther. The goal is a state championship. We would like to win a state championship um, and make a deep run in the playoffs, obviously. Um, we want to win a lot of games is our main goal here. For more on this year's spring sports, pick up a copy of the March 20th Republic Times Spring Sports Preview with team photos, stories, schedules, and more.